sports. It's in the game. It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl. Twenty-two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And off we go from Soldier Field. And that's going to skip into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Patriots to take over for the first time, led out by the rookie, the third overall pick back in April out of UNC, and that's Drake May. And it's been a long time that this franchise entered the offseason desperately needing a young quarterback to build around and plan for the future. And they found their guy in Drake May out of North Carolina. Big arm, great mobility, terrific character. It's everything you're looking for in a quarterback. It may bring him along slowly, but I believe in time, he will be their QB1 and be there for a long time. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. All right, partner, Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays. Two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Oh, my goodness. Now that is going to be out of bounds on the free kick. And that's a big free mistake. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Let's go now. Here's Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Touchdown! Chicago 32 yards for DeAndre Swift and the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead so that a very nice looking touchdown run and on his first carry of the game as well and you remember Brandon we talked to him yesterday and he thought he was going to have a big game he thought everything aligned perfectly he liked what the defense was presenting and he really liked what he was getting from his blockers Santos with the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Mm. I'm not sure they mentioned it as a goal during the week or even talked about it in pregame, but 
The way they're playing right now, they want this game out of reach by halftime. Not only does the safety just demoralize the opposing offense, now your guys can run out there and try to add another six to their lead. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that flag accepted. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. It looked like they were trying to get him outside there, but this defense had different plans. Yeah, they really had an outside-in kind of a pass rush. It's almost like when you're covering a punt, you can't let him get to the outside and get to the sideline. You force him to stay in the middle of the field, and they did exactly that and made the play. They'll get this complete to the rookie from Washington. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. The defense rising to the challenge and setting them back on the sack. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Here's May. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. I'm not sure they mentioned it as a goal during the week or even talked about it in pregame, but the way they're playing right now, they want this game out of reach by halftime. Not only does the safety just demoralize the opposing offense, now your guys can run out there and try to add another six to their lead. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Free kick out of bounds. And they'll accept that penalty. Automatic first down. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at the 40. To throw, it's Williams. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Allen's first catch 
good for a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And running with power here. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Chicago! Caleb Williams, 38 yards. And the Bears are able to add on to that lead. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because... It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 20 rematch. It's the New England Patriots and the Chicago Bears, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the legendary venues in the sport, historic Soldier Field in Chicago. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, partner. A couple of teams that were cellar dwellers a year ago, but as we've seen being around the league for a while, man, that can change one season to the next. And how often do we see, Mike, a team that finished at the bottom of their division just a year later be the division champion? I'm not suggesting that it's easy or necessarily that these two teams are going to find themselves in that position. But the NFL is made up of a formula that says you don't have to stay long forever. If you make the right decisions, you can go from worst to first very quickly. All right, we're just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Patriots have a rookie quarterback. It is Drake May. Long past the Tom Brady era, it is May, who is now the guy in Foxborough. Out of North Carolina, Greg, the third pick in this past year's draft. There's no question, Mike. This guy, in terms of talent, is at the top of the list. I mean, that prototypical size with that live arm. He can attack the defense in so many different ways. However, I think it's really his ability to use his mind is what takes him to another level. For a young player to understand the importance of manipulating the defense with his eyes, and he's able to identify exactly where that coverage is vulnerable. He's far from a finished product, right? He's a young player learning this league. But I'll tell you what, I am fired up to see his development firsthand today over these next couple hours. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Working out of the gun. It's May. Open man, Demario Douglas. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll come up now for second down and four. Here's May. Now he'll run. A pickup there of 28 yards. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on the big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. Off the play fake, here's May. And that time, the pressure too much. 
He'll go down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. Has completed to Douglas. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Throwing on third down is May. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kicks away. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. He won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent, Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. The arm talent's obvious, but it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Another run here, another run by Swift. And he's able to find a crease, get ahead for seven, and he'll bring up third down. A play fake. Now Williams. And that is incomplete. He was looking to get it to DJ Moore. And it's going to be fourth down. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air. And we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. Fair catch called and made right there at the 25-yard line. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. Come out of the gun, here's May. He's got his big tight end, Henry. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Now 
Now the man signed from Washington, it's Antonio Gibson. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Tremaine Edmonds there to make the play. Third and a yard. On third and a yard, here's May. Sending it deep, looking for Osborne. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential, your ability to protect the ball, and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down, a pickup of nine. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run. But the offense is kind of saying, OK, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. They'll go play action here with Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's a second and six. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. That's to the number nine overall pick, Romo Dunze. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. This is the connection that Bears fans have been dreaming about since these two guys were drafted in this previous spring's draft. I mean, they think they have one of the more formidable young quarterback wide receiver duos in the entire league. Williams, first overall pick. Adunze, number nine. The future looks bright in Chicago. Off play action. Here's Williams. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. They teach these defensive ends to rush to the X. The X is the spot where the quarterback stops his drop. And you can see when he hit that back foot, he had nowhere to go. And he's able to bring him down for a big sack. They'll run. It's Swift. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. Boom! And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. A big-time play for the Bears. 35 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. 
On the give, it's Swift. And this time, they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big gain that carry. It's second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They'll go again with Swift. And he'll fight forward for a couple of yards, but a flag is down, and the linemen are already walking back. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. Down to the 10. He is in. Heenan Allen. Touchdown, Chicago. When you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. He's got it. And the Bears move out to a 7-3 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. To return, it's Antonio Gibson. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Our first carry for Ramondre Stevenson. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. To throw now, May. That one taken in by Douglas. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. They'll run here with Gibson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. First and ten. A run here with Stevenson. Finding space inside the 40. Oh, what a run down inside the 30-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Here's May to throw it on first down. The open man is Osborne. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. 
Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. Lane fills quickly. Only managed to get this to the 14. Second down and eight. A carry now for Gibson. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. From the gun, on third down, it's May. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. It's hard to play that ball any better than the way that defender did right there. I mean, to stay patient throughout the entire play and make sure that not only are you in prime position to make it, but that once the ball is there, attack it, knock it down, and save a touchdown. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Pats are back within one. It's seven to six. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And he's been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers here in the first half. This defense is going to need to find a way to key in on him because he's eating them up right now. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? They'll work now on second and four. On the option, it's Swift. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. They will run it over center with Swift. And he's going to have a first down. Good run down inside the 45-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. On first and 10, it's Williams. He'll swing this out to Swift. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. 
Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Throwing on second down, Williams. That is left side and taken in by Allen. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Third and short yardage, and here's Williams. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one, and it's going to lead to fourth down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. And he missed it. It's no good. And they'll remain out front by one. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. Set to go now on first and 10. The motion man here is Bourne. Now Gibson. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Working out of the gun. It's May. Called in by the tight end, Henry. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. And that is going to be knocked away. Incomplete. And with that, time has expired here in the opening quarter. We'll try again here, second and ten. On the ground, Gibson. And the defense right on that. I don't know if keeping would have done any better. No gain on that one. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. Open man is Douglas. It's complete. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. This has the makings of a really good young tandem in New England. I mean, May, the rookie quarterback, first-round pick, Douglas, only in his second year, Mike. So the Patriots' hopes are high that these two can not only grow together, but they can continue to fit in some pieces around them and really try to improve this offense. They'll work the middle this time with Stevenson. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's second and six.
Throwing is May. Open man there. It is Bourne. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy... He slams it in there, and he is in. Ramondre Stevenson, touchdown New England. That a big score, Greg. They continue to get points, but after not getting touchdowns, this has to feel really good to this offense. It really does, and I think anytime you can build on your confidence that now you know the rest of this game, you can finish these good drives. Coming away with two field goals, those are wins for the defense. So now a win for the offensive side of the ball. And got to see now if you can keep this rolling throughout the rest of this game. Slides extra point up and good. And the Pats are in the lead by the score 13 to 7. the touchdown. Here's Sly to kick it away. Carter on the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. They'll come up here first and 10. That'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jonathan Jones. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and 10 in the red zone. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10. Now Stevenson. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. We'll come to the line now on second and two. They motion the slot man left. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. And they'll run it here with Stevenson. Trying to create some space, but will not find much. He'll get a yard. They'll mark it at the three. The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. That is caught by the tight end, Hunter Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end 
in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Following the touchdown, here's Sly to kick it away. On the return, it's Tyler Scott. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Here's first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Boom. And he's fighting to get free. A lot of work there for a gain of three. They face second down and seven. To throw, it's Williams. He's going to run it. And Williams hit the deck there, but after he picked up the first down. There was a lot of questions surrounding this quarterback about whether his style of play from college would transfer to the NFL game. Well, his ability to create with his legs certainly has here today. We see it with his ability to escape pressure out of the pocket, and he's able to pick up the first down. On first down, it's Swift. He'll get this down to the 44, but that's about it. Here's second and nine. Another run here, another run by Swift. And they'll take this down inside the 35. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Look at the three tight ends here on first and ten. A run here with Swift. And a strong first down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. Thrown quickly, that's more on the RPO. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. He's got the hook up there to Ogunze. It's a gain of 13, and it's first and goal. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and 10. They'll run with Swift. 
And he will score. DeAndre Swift, touchdown Bears. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. On is Santos for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Bears are back within six. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Marcus Jones now to return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Out of the gun, here's May. Has completed to Douglas. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and... So far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Here's Gibson. He'll get about two. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. Here now, third and five. Here's May. Will set up the screen for Gibson. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. From the shotgun, it's a give up the middle. And he'll bring this across midfield as this drive is taking shape. A gain of seven on that one. Here's second and three to go. To throw is May. He's done his big tight end, Henry. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. I'll give up the middle to Stevenson. He'll burrow his way forward for a couple. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Now here's a keeper on the zone read. And maybe the quarterback should have given that one away. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. 
A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. Throwing on third down is May. They'll try to set up the screen here. Give them 13 on that screen play. And a first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will. And they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll run here with Gibson. Ooh. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. 